Hey everyone, I'm Marsha, and in today's video, I'm gonna show you just how easy it is to cook sweet potatoes in your Instant Pot. And if you haven't already checked out my last video where I go over just the general basics of how to use an Instant Pot, then make sure you check that video out as well. I'll leave a link down below in the description box. All right, let's get started. So I like to start off by washing my sweet potatoes really well with some type of vegetable brush um, because potatoes can be pretty dirty. So I picked this um, particular brush up off of Amazon not too long ago and I really like it. I did have another one that I uh, purchased at a store but it was just way too small for me. So I upgraded to this one and it's a really good one. So I'll put a link down below in the uh, description box in case you guys are interested. But yeah, you just want to thoroughly wash your potatoes first. Then after you have washed them, go ahead and dry them off and um, I'm just drying mine off with a paper towel. And then after I dry them off, I am going to poke holes in them um, with a fork all the way around so the steam has somewhere to escape because I don't want my sweet potatoes exploding in my Instant Pot because <laughs> that would be horrible. Um, so yes, yeah, so I'm just poking holes in them. And so that's all the prep you need to do first. So then it's time to just literally put the sweet potatoes in your Instant Pot. So if you watched my previous video, um, I told you the exact kind that I have and it comes with this particular trivet rack. And so you can sit your potatoes directly on that so you don't have to worry about the potatoes just sitting in water. All right, so once you got your potatoes in, then you only need to add a cup of water. That's it, that's all the Instant Pot needs to do its magic. And so I put the top on and then I'm going to put it on pressure cook and you're gonna keep it on high pressure. I'm sorry my camera was not focusing well on this particular part, but I am putting it on pressure cook and that's high pressure and I'm gonna put it on 30 minutes. So I've tried different times with my sweet potatoes. I've tried 20 minutes, I've tried 25 minutes, I've tried 28 minutes. And for some reason, anything less than 30 minutes just doesn't seem to um, cook it all the way through or make it like really soft. And I like my sweet potatoes soft. I don't want any hard potatoes. So for me, 30 minutes works. And that is if you're gonna use medium sized potatoes, the size that I have. If you're gonna use anything smaller, then I would recommend probably putting it on 25 minutes um, because you know then you don't want it to just be mush. But 30 minutes seems to work out perfect for me. So after 30 minutes is up, then I am going to let it do a natural release. So I'm gonna let it release some of its pressure and its steam on its own for about 15 minutes. So then you will start to see the clock or the time go up. All right, so my 15 minutes is up. I did do a quick release off camera just to finish um, releasing any little bit of um, steam that was still left in there. And then you do wanna be careful cause it is gonna be hot. But, um, but yeah, so you get to actually go ahead and take your sweet potatoes out. So I'm gonna use um, some tongs to get mine out because they're very soft, they're delicate, and it's hot, so you don't wanna burn yourself. <laughs> and as you can see, the sweet potatoes are split open a little bit. That is to be expected at 30 minutes. Um, if you are gonna be cooking yours for 30 minutes, like I've said, I've tried different times. I've tried 20 minutes, 25 minutes, 28 minutes, and the sweet potatoes didn't really split open, but when I stuck my knife through, it wasn't necessarily soft all the way through, and then I had to cut the Instant Pot back on to finish cooking it. So you know what? I said, I'm just gonna do 30 minutes. If it's gonna split open a little bit, I'm fine with that because at least I have a soft sweet potato. So definitely up to you on um, whatever your preference is, but if you have medium-sized sweet potatoes like I have, and you want it to be soft all the way through, I would recommend doing 30 minutes. And there you have it, you guys. These are the best sweet potatoes just because they're so soft and very moist. And yeah, I just, I just love sweet potatoes personally. So you can put whatever toppings that you want on them. Um, right here, I just have some butter and some cinnamon. I usually do like butter, cinnamon, and maybe a little bit of brown sugar, but that's it. I used to go overboard when it came to my toppings, and now I like to keep it simple because I wanna make sure I'm getting all the nutrients of the sweet potato because sweet potatoes are a superfood. They're very good for you. So I will leave a couple of health facts down below in the description box just so you know. Um, but yeah, they're very good for you, so I would definitely recommend you trying to incorporate 
sweet potatoes into your diet some kind of way. And so usually I will make three at a time. You can make more if you want, but I'll usually eat one right then and then I will store the other two to eat later. And I like using these glass containers that I picked up um, from Amazon just because it's glass, it's not plastic, and they work out perfect for meal prep. So um, I will like store them in here and then I'll you know eat maybe another one for dinner or another one for lunch so just make sure your sweet potato is all the way cool and then you can go ahead and store it um, in your container and put it in the refrigerator for later and that's all there is to it thank you so much for watching if you would like to see more instant pot recipes then make sure you subscribe to my channel and hit that little bell notification icon so you'll never miss when i upload a video until next time you guys see you later